All right, welcome to part three of the sort of lab assignment four. Um, and we're looking at this sort of last little section that's uh, really short, uh, exploding a cube. This is actually just to kind of show the um, sort of interchangeability uh, in terms of the elements going from point line to plane to, vol uh, to surface uh, to volume and back, right? So some of these you'll have to kind of do on the side, on the side, because I have these more or less in place to just to really show you. Otherwise, you have no idea what to do. Um, but what you want to try is to do this. Um, so beginning with the basic cube, um, one of the commands that's really useful in terms of extracting geometry is the dupe edge. So dupe, duplicate edge. Right? If you click on it then it will ask you what edges to duplicate right so once I have the command active I can actually just pick right so that edge I want this edge I want that edge I want this edge and I want that edge enter complete it so in this case I'm actually going to select the cube and then deselect deselect the cube so I can grab the lines so very straightforward. That's uh, it. Just gives you the line segments, right? And then you can, if you wanted to, you could just select that and join them, right? So it's one polyline. Okay, extracting edge curves. Okay. The sort of next part, um, and um, I'm just going to copy this sort of a little bit here to kind of show you. So any poly surface like this, and if you're just sort of wondering what it is, right? You can highlight something. And then in Rhino, you can type what. Uh, it's literally what, right? What? Um, what it will actually tell you. A poly surface. It has a unique ID number, blah, blah, blah. Just like all the sort of geometry related information. All right, so I can click on this and type what? Curve, right? Uh, and actually, it gives more detail, like segment one, two, three. It's uh, start and end sort of parameters, length, all this sort of stuff, okay? So uh, the other you know, way is actually just to look at the properties, uh, layers, properties, right? Whatever you have highlighted, it will actually show you that, oh, it's a closed poly surface. Uh, this is an open surface. This is a open curve. Uh, this is a open curve. And some of these like that is a closed curve, right? So you can actually learn about um, your object properties you know, this way too, which is sometimes a little bit faster. Okay, so let's take this and explode it, uh, which is this little guy here, explode, okay? Uh, Once you explode, it'll flash, and then actually what was a cube has become individual surfaces, okay? So let me copy this, I'm holding down the Alt key and using 20. So let's actually move this apart just like that. Uh, click and then say five. Oh, five is too much. Let's just move it. I think it's one maybe. Yeah. Okay. So just to move these faces apart by one unit and if it's going in the reverse direction of the area obviously you do a negative one right this is positive one and then this side is negative one this bottom piece because the area is pointing upwards is also negative one right simple okay alt click to copy so this is actually duplicate not a duplicate edge but duplicate face border okay so what we're doing here is this command called duplicate face border what it does is that you can select surface of the faces to duplicate a border what's the difference uh, the difference really is that dupe edge gives you individual lines like this individual line segments right dupe uh, face border gives you complete uh, boundaries right which are not exploded yet they're still joined together which can be really 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 helpful so 
what I'm gonna, I, I just sort of undid that, right? So I'm actually just going to select all these together and then run the dupe face border command. Dupe face border. Okay. So with what I did still highlighted, right? I'm not, I haven't touched anything, right? It just did the dupe face border. I'm just going to click delete or actually no. Um, so this is what was sort of created, right? Out of the, the sort of uh, geometry. So let's, uh, so after I run the command, um, without clicking anywhere just yet, right? I'm actually just gonna move it while everything is still selected and move it 20, okay? Because uh, right after the command runs, right, what you created is still highlighted or still selected. So you can use that opportunity to sort of move it out uh, of this. So once we're here, uh, what I want you to, to try is actually just to kind of realize that, well, these polylines can also be exploded as well, right? So this sort of top uh, polyline explode it. So that sort of top polyline now is four line segments and we do the same thing. We just move them apart by one, by one, negative one, and this guy, negative one. Okay, so you should have more or less that. Same thing, let's Alt, click, put 20, copy it over. All right, and the last sort of little step here is divide 170. Now this is actually just to uh, automatically extract points off of something like this, okay? Now, uh, you'll see in this case that these actually will all need to get exploded. I'm not going to kind of uh, do that uh, one by one here, but sure, you can actually you know use the point command and click, 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 like put in the points. Um, or you can just be smart, use the divide command, right? Select curves to divide. This usually what it does is that you select a curve, enter, and you say, well, I want uh, seven or six seg segments, and you, what it does, it automatically puts in segments for you, right? Now if you run the command and you say you just have want one segment, right? So you type one, that just gives you the, the beginning and the end with no subdivisions, right? That's just the endpoints of everything. So you can very easily, you know, you'll see in this case, let's like select everything, divide, Okay. Now, because um, these uh, were polylines, right? So it actually only puts subdivision points and actually um, division points at the beginning and the end of the polyline, right? Which is why uh, to really get the result that you want here, uh, where you have points at every single corner point, you would actually have to go in and explode all of these explode them once. So these are all individual line segments now, right? So select it again, divide, line segment one. Uh, you can decide if you want to like automatically group the outputs. So group public. There's a lot of options here, like sometimes that are useful to split it uh, while you're doing a division. So like, you know, you can get it to automatically split the line segments for you, et cetera, et cetera. But now we have these. Now you'll you'll note that um, in particular you'll note that actually the you'll have duplicates, right? Because this line segment has a point in one side and two. This line segment has a you know, point there and there. So you will actually at least have two overlaps uh, there. I right? just sort of be. Uh, conscious of like when you run commands like this, sometimes you'll get over geometry basically that it's on top of each other or overlapping. But because we picked the group 
uh, sort of uh, option, basically your points are now grouped together. All right. Last one here is a dupe face border, and this is the, just the sort of simple what we uh, what I showed you guys before. Right, the dupe face face border command, except you can do face border, right, and select all these surfaces together, right, part as part of the whole poly surface. Run it, right. If you move it out, then you basically get these sort of curves that are in place, right, as a sort of framework. Now, you have to get used to selecting different things using the selection menu, right, uh, because you'll get a lot of uh, objects as you kind of model, you'll get a lot, a lot of objects that are on top of each other, especially in cases like this, this, right now, if I click on the corner, I actually have three curves uh, that I can potentially select, right, so you have to get used to selecting things this way. There's one. Move that up one. Move this guy. Negative one. No. Negative one. And this guy on the green one. Okay, more or less the same thing. Except you know you'll see that there are situations where you can sort of apply uh, these commands uh, very differently. All right, that's it.